Good morning. Morning, Nico. They wake you up to... All right, we are working from home today because I'm all out of coffee, so we're gonna head to Pangea and get some good coffee. Snow is over and is basically gone. Oh, look out, mountain. That's pretty snowy. Pangea. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome to Tesla's Wild. My name is Colin. I hope y'all are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, so glad you found us, and I hope you enjoy what you see here today. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It does truly mean the world to me. We hit 207 subscribers this morning, which is just awesome for like two and a half, three weeks of uploading videos. Your support means the world, and I can't thank you enough. With that said, I think we have a pretty cool video set up for you guys today. I did order a set of sound dampening material from Amazon, as you can see here. It's relatively cheap. It's got four out of five stars, so I don't have high expectations, but we'll see how well it does. So we're gonna do an install and a review on this. If any of you have watched some of my earlier videos, you know that it was pretty painful to listen to. Uh, the GoPro doesn't have the best microphone, but it was picking up an absurd amount of ambient noise. Part of that is because I was recording from the dash, but the other part is there's quite a bit of noise that gets inside the vehicle. We got that fixed with the microphone, but I'm hoping we can bring that down even more with this product. With that said, we're also gonna do some before and after on the noise levels in the vehicle. We're gonna do that using this app I downloaded. It's called Decibel X. and it takes noise level readings from wherever the phone is at. It gives you an average noise level as well as a maximum noise level. So we're gonna take some readings from the dashboard, the center console, the driver's seat, the back seat, and just kind of get a baseline of how noisy the vehicle is prior to installation. Then we're gonna do the install and review. The whole video is basically the review, but we're gonna do the install. We're gonna take the exact same measurements and see if there's any difference, if it's discernible or if it's uh, not. <laughs> All right, hello, hello, hello. We are driving right now. I got autopilot on. Um, so I'm gonna show you this app. It's called Decibel X. We're gonna restart everything from scratch here so that it has a clean baseline. This is from the driver's seat. Gonna take a 30 second measurement. All right, so as we can see, we have an average ambient noise level of 85.5 or so, and a maximum of 96.9. And now we're gonna take the same reading from the center console. By the way, all of these readings are taken around 60 to 65 to 70 miles per hour, so hopefully they'll all be pretty consistent. So it looks like the center console has an average of 82.3 decibels with a maximum of 90.5. And now we're gonna record from the dash. All right, so the dashboard has an average of 89.7 decibels and a maximum of 95.9. And now we're gonna get the back seat. All right, so the back seat has an average of 84.9, 85, with a maximum of 90.8 decibels. Just to summarize, we took a measurement from the driver's seat, from the center console, from the dashboard, as well as the back seat. So we're now gonna go to getting this installed, and then we're gonna take the same measurements after getting it installed. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We got it here. I believe this is the right package here. So we got the, whatchamacallit? Oh yeah, the lining. The lining that uh, supposedly makes your car quieter. Let's get it opened up here. Okay, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Ta-da! All right, so made in China. Anything else in here? Nothing, okay. Hmm. All right, this installs in less than five minutes. No tools are needed, no gluing, no cutting, no mess. Just press it in. All right, so there is a YouTube video. Da -da -da. All right. 
wind noise reduction kit. All right, so we're gonna watch this video and we'll be right back. All right, we've watched enough of the video. I think I get the gist of it. So uh, we're gonna get out and give this a try. Uh, as you'll see, <laughs> the sun doesn't have much further to go. So we're gonna try and get this installed in that time. Pretty funny, the link that they send you to links you to RPM Tesla's video, but this is definitely not RPM Tesla's product. Ta-da! <laughs> There it is. Okay, so that is where it is spliced. They say to start on the passenger side and get that guy tucked in there. All right, so this is not as easy as it was in the video. Hmm, this just does not stay down at all. Hmm, you can tell this is gonna get annoying real damn quick. Be right back, be right back. I'm gonna try and figure this out. All right, so after getting super, super frustrated with this, I have determined that this channel, on I don't know if it's my vehicle specifically, but it's just too, too wide. So I think I have an idea. I'm only doing this one with one person, but I think it would be much easier with two. But we're gonna try and see if this works. So I'm gonna try and jam it in the window here so there's something holding it. I kept trying to tension it and it would just pop out and some curse words were definitely said. Boop, okay. So we have it jammed in there now. All right, so I'm starting with the front. I know they said to start with the back, but, um, or the side, but I think it's easier here. So now I'm gonna toss this over there. <laughs> Probably too much slack in there. We're gonna try and fix that one second. Okay, just stretch this inner incrementally. Oh, so much better. That is the way to do it. Maybe how am I gonna break this now that I'm putting so much tension on it, but <laughs> oh well. So we're just stretching and tucking. Stretch and tuck, stretch and tuck. This will probably pop out and I'll be very, very angry and <laughs> we'll probably give up for tonight. Let's see if we can get it over here. Please, please don't pop up on that side. Definitely past that five minute mark, but uh, maybe it'll be easier for you. Just need to get it secure here. Oh, you mother. So the front looks gorgeous. Just can't quite get this back to work out. And of course there's a bunch of slack here, so I'm gonna see how that ends up working out. Just, why won't you go in there? Tesla card. That is not helping. Okay. Just hold that there. Okay. It's gonna wanna try and come out. Thank you. It's doing pretty well. Hi, Tesla channel. Hello, this is Chris. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is Chris after a long day of work. Yes, <laughs> it is. All right, I don't know what to do with all of this slack. <laughs> um, that should be good, man. Thank you, I appreciate okay. it. So, oh, so you have too much. I do have too much so far. Why is that? Um, I think it's because I stretched it too much. And, uh... oh. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> All right, so after much, much longer than five minutes, we've gotten it to this point and there's just all this extra and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm not really sure. I don't know if I should cut it and splice it together. So tensioning, just cut it a little bit close. Okay. Now we're just gonna splice these guys together and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You guys can tell how much time it's spent on, <laughs> I've spent on this, it's pretty sad. I'm gonna splice these guys together and hold them, hopefully. Definitely not the cleanest install video I've ever done, but I had this much extra. Not sure if that's normal, but um, man, that was annoying. And it's not like this is like super, stretched out like it's 
I think we've got it fully installed here. I'm sorry I couldn't show you more of that. All right, well, it's getting kind of dark, so I think we're gonna finish up filming tomorrow. It is a pretty nice sunset. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for dealing with my idiocy here. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. If it was just unique to my Tesla, it didn't seem like people on Amazon had nearly as much trouble, but I did get the knockoff brand. It was an RPM Tesla, so I'll get some new readings with this installed and see how much better it sounds. Get some nice sun shots of Nico while I'm at it. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. It is still early, it's Saturday, but I was gonna record all of the new sound measurements last night and I was trying, but uh, my SD card ended up filling up with I had so much footage mainly because I was trying to record the intro 15 billion times and good news the Material is still there. So it didn't the drive did not remove it, which is good So we will get those four measurements then we'll wrap this video up doing a comparison between the two see if there's any improvement at all But first I had to get coffee y'all know how we do it on this channel. All right, so funny story. So basically right after I filmed that introduction, uh, it looks like it popped apart here, unfortunately. Um, it was a full failure of the, the material. Might just need to get a new set. This is what I get for buying the knockoff product on Amazon instead of from RPM Tesla. So this is install 2.0. <laughs> All right, so it looks like our super glue repair is actually holding up. It is right here. Um, looks kind of okay. Try this again, round two. Turbine, what do you think about that, huh? Set it back to 70, all right. Commence driver's seat. All right, driver's seat has an average of 83.1 and a maximum of 87.3. Center console. All right, center console has an average of 79.9 with a maximum of 88.1. Moving on to the dashboard. All right, dashboard has an average of 89 and maximum of 95.4. Now the rear seat. All right, so the rear seat has an average of 84.9 and a maximum of 89.3. All right, I'll see you guys back at home here when we're gonna compare the results. All right, welcome back, welcome back. We have made it back home here. So we're just gonna kind of uh, review the results talk about the differences, see if there was any noticeable reduction in noise levels inside the vehicle. Obviously using your phone and an app aren't the most precise methods of measurement, but at least they're consistent and we got some sort of baseline to go against. I'm only gonna look at averages. From the driver's seat, prior to install, we had an average of 85.8 decibels. After install, we had an average of 83.1 decibels. So that's about a 2.7 decibel drop. I know uh, RPM Tesla says a seven decibel drop. This is not RPM Tesla's product, although it does serve the exact same purpose. Um, material might be a little bit different. It does say version two, so I think whatever company this is is just copying RPM Tesla. So moving on to the center console. The center console had an average of 82.4 decibels prior to install. And then afterwards, it had an average of 79.9. So another kind of 2.4, 2.5 decibel drop. Now the dashboard, the dashboard prior to install had an average of 89.6 decibels. And then afterwards, 88.9. So only a 0.7 decibel drop in that instance. So not a lot. And now finally, the rear seat had an average of 85 decibels prior to install, 
and then after install it had an average of 84.9 so 0.1 decibels absolutely uh, unquantifiable that is what it seems like absolutely no difference in the rear seat there is a minimal minimal difference I don't know if we can even trust that that's probably within the margin of error but in the driver's seat and the center console for whatever reason there is a noticeable like 2.5 decibel drop which is really not that bad um, looking at my install there was quite a bit of extra material, so I'm not really sure that I used all of it and as effectively as possible. Uh, I just didn't see a way that all of it was going to fit. So maybe what we'll do is we're going to order RPM Tesla's product and do the same install, hopefully without having, <laughs> without having to cut any out, and then do the exact same measurements and do a comparison between the Amazon and RPM Tesla versions. Anyways. There we have it. We saw, at least in the driver's seat in the center console, an average of 2.5 decibel drop. Um, I would say that's definitely outside the margin of error, so it is uh, definitely a small, small drop in noise level in the cabin. Uh, unfortunately, this is pretty much, pretty much imperceivable by the driver themselves, but it is a step, a step in many that are to come with the goal of reducing cabin noise inside of the Tesla Model 3. So we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'll have more videos coming out about installs that we're probably going to do to try and reduce this noise and their results. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It does truly mean the world to me. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like and subscribe button. We're up to 231 subscribers at the time of making this video now. I know I've, I've said that three times, but just like the rate of increase of subscribers is amazing. Y'all are the best and... <laughs> Uh, it's just such an exciting thing to watch, and I can't thank you guys enough. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you next time.